Okay, we've got a skateboard on a ramp. This is on Earth. There's our gravity, 9.81, and we currently have zero friction whatsoever. The way a skateboarding ramp works, you have gravitation potential energy here because you have the ability to fall. As they go down the ramp, they will lose gravitation potential energy and gain kinetic energy. So he'll have zero speed here, he'll go down, start picking up some speed, then obviously he's going to start going up the other side, at which point he will be losing his speed because there is a loss of kinetic energy but a gain in gravitation potential energy. If there is no friction, I release him from this height, he will go to the exact same height on the opposite side of the ramp. And because there's no friction, he will do this forever. It doesn't matter the shape of the ramp. I can go like this and make it steeper. He will still only go to the height dictated by how high he was when he first went down. And I can bring this back down. I can bring this one up in terms of steepness. And how high he goes will not change. So let's pause it. Let's change the ramp a little bit. So we're going to take our skateboarder and put him up here. So now he has a lot of gravitational potential energy because there's a relatively large drop from there to the bottom of the ramp. And you'll notice that the left side of the ramp is pretty short. If we let him go, he should be able to continue up to a height of around here, but the ramp is no longer there. So he should go flying off, kind of like a ski jump. And there he goes. Now, what I would like to do is add some friction. So we'll make the ramp relatively symmetrical. Go down here where it says coefficient of friction, and we're going to add a little bit of friction. So this is more like a real world type of example. Um, if I let him go, there is now going to be some kind of friction with the wheels, maybe with the wheels in the surface of the ramp. And what we should find is that eventually the skateboarder keeps losing height on each successive side. This is due to the fact that the gravitational potential energy and kinetic energy is now being converted into thermal energy. The wheels are heating up, the bearings are heating up, maybe even the surface of the ramp is heating up. And depending on how much friction we put in there, you can add a little bit more. The more friction you have, the faster this experiment comes to an end. Because you're trying to overcome a larger force every time. And there we can see it came to rest almost instantly. Now let's say we want to change the gravity. Let's go to uh, the moon. Gravity uh, on the moon is about one-sixth what it is on Earth. So there it is, 1.62, and we let our skateboarder go. Now other than the fact that the rate at which the skateboarder is dropping is slower than it was on Earth, the rest of the experiment is the same. They start at a certain height on the left hand side, they will always return to the same height on the right hand side. Jupiter is a much larger planet, uh, it has a gravity of 25.95, so if we let it go, again, starting at this height, he should still only go to the same height on the opposite side, except with a larger gravity, it should happen at a faster rate. So going back to Earth, what we see is this oscillation which continues indefinitely due to the fact that there's no friction. And again, the big point is this. Whatever height you start at on the left-hand side is what you'll go to on the right-hand side. It's a conservation of energy. All of your gravitational potential energy from the beginning is turned into kinetic energy at the bottom. And when you go back up on the other side, it's converted once again back to gravitational potential energy. So just to reiterate or explain one more time, we now have a graph on the side which is showing kinetic energy in green, potential energy in blue, this would be gravitational potential energy, and this is the total energy. The total energy of the system is completely set by how high I lift up my skateboarder. And you can see that as he goes near the top, my potential energy of the system is completely equal to the total mechanical energy of the system. And we let it go. Blue line is going to decrease and we should see kinetic energy increasing. And what you'll notice is these two lines will never get taller than the total energy of the system. And if we could actually mathematically analyze it, what we would realize is that any point 
the sum of these two bar graphs is always equal to the total energy and it doesn't matter where you are on this graph these two combined together would always give you the total.